Okay, let's look at the Realme GT Neo 3. This is what they call like a flagship killer because it has the kind of specs that is I shouldn't just say comparable because uh, a lot of the specs actually beat that of my so-called flagship cameras, it's flagship phones. All right, the GD Neo three, uh, six point seven inch screen and um, twenty by nine ratio, so. 394 ppi if you care that kind of stuff basically for me it's just whether it's high res enough or not all right and it's finished with a gorilla glass all right for those who don't know gorilla glass came from car racing all right mopar to be exact uh, the performance division of dodge okay so this is a very nice color. I actually prefer the white color. There's white, there's also blue, and uh, it's a type of matte finish that has a very nice feeling to it. Okay, and the construction of the phone, of course, you can't expect the whole thing to be uh, metal, but then I think the sides are made of metal, and overall the phone is very lightweight, very balanced uh, weight distribution because you don't want certain phones that are top heavy and things like that. All right, it has a, even though it's those, it's that slim, it has a 5,000 milliampere battery. All right, now it comes in a one, two, eight gigabyte, six gigabyte of RAMs, or two, five, six, eight gigabyte, and two, five, six, 12 gigabyte of RAM, and tops out at five, one, two gigabyte, with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM, so that will be the top spec. All right, there are three cameras in the setup. Uh, there's a 50 megapixel, of course, I would guess that's the biggest one here. All right, and then the, the 50 megapixel is uh, f1.9. All right, and it also comes with optical image stabilization. That is, for its price point, uh, pretty unheard of. All right, and then uh, it also has a uh, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, 120 degrees. Uh, that will be an f stop of 2.3 and then 2 megapixels of macro lens. All right, for the main camera. As for the selfie camera, this one is 16 megapixels. Very good. All right, and for video of its uh, front camera, it tops out at 180p, 30 frames per second and has a gyro electrical, electric uh, image stabilization. The rear camera can do 4K 60 FPS. Uh, when it's shooting video, it's a gyro uh, electric image stabilization. All right, it has stereo speakers. The volume buttons are here, and then the on off button is over here, and then under the screen, fingerprint sensors. The chipset is Dimensity 8100, which is comparable to Snapdragon 888, all right, and uh, it's octa-core. Can you imagine that, you know, phones these days. Uh, fast charging, 80 watts, and uh, it can go up to 100% in 32 minutes. Man. Okay, let's switch it on. Boom. There we go. So in my unboxing video, I actually show that you, know, you get like a, a phone case, which is a you know standard silicon transparent phone case, and then you have the charger, the big charging brick. So it comes with the Realme UI, which is very fairly familiar for us Android users. You know, we know you drag the top screen down, then you have all the quick access to all the settings. Ultra macro, but 4 cm away. away. Alright, that's ultra macro. You can go back to photo. Standard street. Interesting. 
So they have this mode whereby it's for street. And as I'm moving my thumb, as every digit runs through the screen, I can feel the vibration on the phone. This is a kind of good haptic feedback, you know. So I can change the focusing on the fly. Okay, the keys on the keyboard is the ones that are being focused now. And then I can further move my thumb and then change the focus back to the watch. I like this, I like this, I like this feature. All right, then it will, it will take a snap. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm in 50 megapixel mode now. And I'm um, gonna take a quick snap. And uh, let's look at it. Oh, this is, this is brilliant. Right, so the convenience of having, you know, really high megapixel count compared to, you know, most who are like still staying at 12 megapixels. I think, I think I prefer any time a camera that, that oh, I like the animations. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Yeah, this shows an attention to detail, you know, to be honest, when it comes to software and all that. So there's a film mode. Um, stabilization is, is activated. And look at the sides. I can change the ISO, the shutter speed, the exposure, and the focal point, even the white balance. All right, it's currently on auto. See, then it colder or warmer. Yeah. All the way to eight thousand. <laughs> yeah. I think the table is a nicer way to show how the colors change. All right. Oh, this is, now this is BBC when they're shooting China, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is when you want to shoot an MTV, you know, colder, lighter tones. And then this is when you don't have budget for color grading. All right. Anyway, jokes aside. Yep. Pretty complete. I mean, for a phone that, that says that they're focused on gaming, the camera is full featured, all right. For this price, for this spec, I think it's a, it's a bargain, all right. Of, and of course, uh, because it's not a flagship, you don't get wireless charging. It's something nice to have, but then they, res of course, every phone manufacturer sort of reserve it for the flagship for now, all right. What is GT mode? GT mode maximizes your phone's performance. You may consume more power, and cause your phone to heat up. So you go GT mode when you need the full processing, you know, gaming and all that. All right, but they're gonna ramp up the processor and it's, and it's gonna heat up the phone. I mean, the thing is this, the differentiation these days between a phone that probably costs, let's say 2000 ringgit versus one that costs like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 ringgit, right? Is the, the, the increase your your marginal utility actually increases in 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 a very little way. So the phone wise, I think I'm I'm happy with the screen, happy with the resolution, the phone, the camera resolution. Other than that, it's a pretty clean UI. I mean, it's not crazy complicated, you know. Very straightforward wallpaper icon layout, you know. Realme GT Neo Three. Yeah, dare to leap. A little bit warm here, but probably because I am fast charging and using it at the same time. Okay. And uh, it's finally time for me to pick up this car. Okay, it's actually very, very loud. The stereo speakers of this phone is, <laughs> short to say, phenomenal. Alright, so you will know that when it comes to gaming, when it comes to watching videos, go full screen pinch to zoom and fill script you couldn't finish the text <laughs> press and hold to select a playlist okay let's go all right that's his beauty yep so that's how it is and if you see bobby young 
please subscribe. All right, and let's play another video. Oh my god, Google is just trying to get me to sign up. It keeps popping up. Can you hear that? Cars bring us to places. Places that we can never imagine. Enough. Okay. Wow, this is The special thing about cars is that it allows you to roam freely. It is a very different mode of transport as a plane or a train, you know, or whatever, because those are your domestic routes, and all you care for would be the final destination. Whereas cars, because it travels on the ground level, we are in full control of it. We can stop whenever we want. We can turn left wherever we want. Turn right wherever we want. It's just an extension of our foot. Wear a pair of shoes. It allows you to go further distances. Right? You ride a horse that extends. Big matter, but a car really extends it to full. We get to absorb in everything that we pass by the sight, the smell, the experiences, and all that. So that's what makes us love cars so much. It is an embodiment of freedom, freedom of movement, freedom to explore, freedom to add more memories, you know, go places. Travel, see more. The spirit of Evo and Euro, we fully immerse ourselves in this. Uh, you can call it romanticism with these coal machineries, but what they are able to give us, the value that they give us, is something that is incomparable. Yep. All right. So that's how viewing videos is on this phone. Very good experience. Very nice screen. Very nice speakers. And.、Uh, Yeah, and、uh, what about video? Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, is it that detail, the camera? I mean, I don't know. On the screen, it really shows every single detail, and uh. I like the fact that it doesn't smooth out my skin like how Samsung does it all the time.、Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. Colors don't look as supernatural, but I'm fine with that. So when I'm in selfie camera option,、uh, I don't get much choices. Of course, obviously, I mean, it's just gonna use the full 16 megapixel. On my skin, yeah. When I blast it up, there's a little bit of details lacking there, but if if it's viewed from the phone, it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine from my eyes. Okay. So yeah, these are very very decent phones. You know, for the kind of price that they charge, the fact that the fact that it can charge up real quick. You know, it has a very fast processor, very high rated screen, 120 hertz of refresh rate. Basically, the、uh, Realme GT Neo 3 sets out to be the best gaming and daily phone for phones under. The two thousand ringgit price tier, combining the、uh, trend-setting designs, the
the high performance chips. What they aim to do is to be the best gaming phone at this price point. I think it's a it's a very good all-in-one package and the fact that it goes up to 512. Yeah, I think that yeah, I mean perfectly qualifies as what they call a flagship killer. Right? You don't need the kind of budget. I'm actually looking for this sort of phone. I I no longer want to spend. I mean, I have a, a main phone which is a flip, you know, but I have another one which is in this kind of chocolate bar form factor. And I'm already thinking my next one, I wouldn't want to spend the money on a flagship anymore. Because like I said, the the incremental uh, benefits that I get is no longer as obvious. And uh, I will go for one of these, you know, to just they do everything just as well. All right. Cheers.